Okay, so this is just a review of my Castle Pro. I've had it since, uh, I guess, December of 2014. And I put a video out there of initial impressions then. And uh, really, it holds true to today. This printer is still doing a great job at printing. Uh, the biggest downfall uh, is really the extruder here uh, is a limitation as well as the hot end. I have one of the original uh, peak hot ends, so uh, it's not the case with the newer ones. They all have uh, hot, all metal hot ends. And then uh, the control board, the 8 bit board, and it just was made at the time when 32 bit boards were not really the standard. So. I definitely will be upgrading this. Uh, as far as the hardware goes, it's been uh, pretty reliable. I've made these little shims, uh, let's see, right up here, just out with balsa, And that's been kind of a hack to fix it, but that clears the limit switch bolts there from hitting that belt. On the tensioner. Uh, one of the other mods here, I went on Amazon and picked up this key. Key back about 10 bucks for that, but it's a high quality unit. It has a 48 inch string, and then I just ran the the key loop right there around the, the harness cord, and that works great. Uh, you can get the cheapies units, but I think buying a quality one, especially with that ring like that, it's a nice, simple, elegant solution that keeps that up and out of the way. Um, the best thing I found in the bed there is that's just regular Elmer's glue and water solution holds down PLA excellent uh, and I guess with about a 70 degree Celsius bed it really does print with great adhesion to the board. Uh, right now just printing a little minifigure uh, for a board game and uh, that's pretty much it. So uh, I still recommend this printer uh, it's a, it's not the greatest printer for a beginner, but definitely someone who can troubleshoot and work on the machine over time. Uh, it's definitely an excellent platform. This open beam really has uh, kept this thing together. I've traveled with this printer and taken it up into the car, seat belt and all, uh, taking it 100 miles one way and uh, I've really had had no adjustment issues at all so that's it open beam castle pro year and a half in review